Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another great edition of the Frankie Slauson Show, and welcome to another great interview on Frankie's icons of pop culture. And today, we we go uh, we go pretty iconic. Today, we got a guy who uh, who, if you guys remember a while back ago, I did an interview with both uh, Bill Kinnison, which was the brother of the late great Sam Kinnison, and I also did, a, did an interview with a guy named Craig Gass, who. Uh, who is well known for doing his uh, Sam Kinison impressions. Well, I got a guy here who actually uh, not only sounds a lot like Sam, but also looks like Sam, and he does a, a Sam Kinison tribute on his uh, radio show, uh, and his name is Screaming Sam, and welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right. And, and how Glad to be on your show. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really honored to, to have you on, because I have I did listen to your show the day that, uh, that you agreed to do the interview here, probably two or three weeks ago or whatever and uh, I was pretty impressed by uh, the fact of uh, what you were able to, to do on your on your show and everything yeah I've got a great you know, great crew with me and um, I don't know if a lot of people know but Bill Kenneth and I are personal friends and uh, he sponsors us on our show and he's actually a part of our show he couldn't make it that night but uh, he's actually a part of our radio show too you know www.screamingsam.com and I'm, a- I'm actually friends with Craig Gass too you know so you know, we all, you know, stick together, I guess, with the Sam Kinison stuff, you know? I guess so. You know, I'm just out there trying to keep the memory alive, you know? When people see me, they freak out, you know? <laughs> they just think sometimes, they think, is he dead or isn't he dead, you know? <laughs> it's funny, you know, because so, I throw them off a little bit, you know? Sure, sure. So. Uh, you know, and, but that, I think that's neat, though. I mean, I think it's neat because you you, 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 you love Sam Kinison, you know, well, I mean, you... You honor his memory, you know, in, in a right way. You're not like, uh, you're not trying to destroy his memory. You're trying to honor his memory and keep it alive. And I think that's that's what's really neat about it. Uh, uh, you you build a lot of fans that way, and, and you and you just uh, you're very dedicated to it anyway. Yeah, that's that's all I'm trying to do is keep the memory alive. And you know, there's young there's a young generation out there that don't know Sam, and you know, and they see me, and they're like, you know, you, you look like you know. You look like you'd be like a, you know, then you tell him who Sam Kennison was, and yeah. I'm sure he'd go home and Google it, and like, oh, man, you know, that that was crazy, you know, all that, you know, they listen to Sam, and you're bringing him back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do, is bring Sam back, his calling to the young generation. And so, you know, that's what I do, that's what I try to do, is help out the young generation with it now, you know, the whole new generation out there, man. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get that young generation to know who Sam Kinison was because too many of these young people nowadays, all they know is uh, Justin Bieber and One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to shoot that guy. No, anyway, um, <laughs> no, but uh, Bill Kinison was funny is when we went to Sturgis, we were walking around and all the people were like, "Oh man, I'm a big fan of your Sam and this and that." And Bill, uh, I'd be trying to explain to them that I'm not Sam, you know what I mean? And Bill just told me, he goes, "You know what, dude." Just run with it, man. He goes, just tell him you're Sam. He goes, you know, how big of a fan can I be if that other guy is dead? Yeah, so yeah. So we would go around the rest of the day, and he'd be, like, shooting pictures. He'd go kiss and grab the camera and shoot pictures with them, and I'd have to autograph stuff, and I'd just sign Screaming Sam, you know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was really funny, because the rest of the day, I just went, yeah, yeah, sure, you know, big fan, sure. <laughs> you know, just, you know, take pictures of man. Just my brother Bill. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so we had a good time with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool that you've been down to Sturgis. See, I'm uh, actually uh, in a couple, about well, two or three weeks from now, uh, prof- uh, professionally anyway, and bu- business-wise, I'm going to be moving to uh, South Dakota as well. I have family in Rapid City, and and I've been to, to oh, Stur- wow. I've been to Sturgis uh, many many times uh, when I was a young guy, a young kid. I'm only 29, so when I was uh, like a teenager, and whatnot, my family would travel to to South Dakota for the rally and everything, and. And uh, I look forward wow. to finally going back there. And uh, how often do you go there? Well, just I just went there one time with Bill, and um, I tell you what, we had an awesome time. It's just a, we, we talk about it so much on our radio show because it was just like one of the greatest times I ever had. And we, you know, that's, that's actually the first time I got a tattoo. Is you know, Bill was trying to think of what he could put on it. He was he wanted to get a tattoo, you know. Okay. And. He's there, you know, he's putting a tattoo, he's getting, he's going to get like a Harley Davidson thing, whatever. I said, why don't you get your brother on your arm, you know what I mean? Put something with Sam. Yeah. And he goes, uh, he goes, why don't you get one too? And I wasn't a big fan of tattoos. And I went, well, I don't think my wife will let me. So here I talked to my wife, but she told me to go ahead and do it. And I was still using that excuse. So he says, let me talk to your wife. And he called my wife and she had already given me the okay, but I didn't tell him. 
Uh-huh. So he's going on and on with the story, and <laughs> she already knew. So he's like, you bastard, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we went and got tattoos. If you look on the web, um, I think it's on my Facebook page, whatever. There's a ta- um, picture of him and I with the tattoo, same tattoo. Yeah. We got that in honor of Sam. I, I actually, yeah. I actually think I've actually seen that see, that picture before. Uh, uh, it's on both your 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 uh, Facebook page and uh, Bill's uh, Facebook page as well. Right, we figured that'd be our, like our little um, honor, Sam, and um, our relationship. You know what I'm saying? So how how long have uh, how long have you known Bill for? I know Bill. Uh, I tell you what, I went to Chicago. I did a show in Chicago, and one of his cousins emailed me and told me I look like. Uh, she said, Yo, you look like my cousin Sam. I'd like to come see your show. When I went to Chicago, she actually drove a couple hours to see me, and she cried when she met me. Oh, wow. And, yeah, and then I told her, she wanted to change his mind is meet Bill, and she hooked me up with Bill. And in 2004 or 2005, I'd known Bill. Um, I met Bill, and we've been really close since, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I own actually Sam Kinison's guitar that he played in the Wild Thing video. It's a white Kramer. Yeah. I own that, and uh, like I said, Bill gave me a letter, he actually wrote me a letter to, um, like if I ever want to do commercials, whatever, he wrote me a letter, not only do I have the um, rights to do anything with Sam, but I got the, the Kinison blessing. Wow. To do whatever I want with that. Yeah, so, I mean, I feel honored with that. Yeah. It, it, From the Kinison. And it's some family, and you know, it's kind of it's it must be kind of neat for you because it, I think uh, you know back in the day when, when Bill and when Sam was alive, I think Bill and Sam got along very very well. I mean, they were like you know you couldn't split them apart, and I think maybe this is why he he loves hanging out with you so much because it feels like not only just because you guys are friends and everything, but it feels like he's hanging out with his brother. Yeah, it could be because when the first time I the very first time I met Bill when I moved to California. He, um, he, when he first met me, he freaked out, and he kept, like, I had, my real name is John, and, um, yep. you know, I told him, he, he was calling me John, then every once in a while, he'd be like, hey, Sam, and I'd be like, oh, my God, he goes, I, keep, I can't help myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, keep calling you Sam, and I'm like, that's cool, dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. You'll hear him on my show, a lot of times he'll call me John, and then, like, when he's with me a lot, he calls me Sam, you know what I mean? But, yeah. uh, he said, it's just unbelievable, like, how much I look like Sam, and, you know, uh, I asked him a couple times to be my manager and stuff like that, but he's just so you know, so busy with the with the movie and all kind of other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He just doesn't have time for that. And I, I asked to do the part of Sam in the movie, but they needed a name actor. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I suppose. So that's what, or else I would have that part. He told me because he already mentioned my name to them about me. So but, uh, you know. So when is this movie supposed to come out? Because uh, I remember Tim talking about it too on, on our interview, and I haven't heard really anything. I've been searching online, and, and I haven't seen really anything about it. Well, um, he mentions it on our show a lot, but um, I guess there's a lot of details that comes out in these movies. And supposedly when they start filming, he, I was going to be invited there to do standards and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, whenever it does happen, I'm sure we'll be doing some interviews. Because he's one he wants me to hang out with him all the while he's there doing it. Oh, sure. So, wow. I think that's awesome. Oh yeah, that is awesome, and you know Sam Kinison to me has you know, was always a, a true legend, and he was one of those guys that uh, I think if you saw him on the street or, or or just met him, just you know, like anywhere, I think he would be the type of guy that wouldn't uh, wouldn't let his fame get to his head. Like he would actually uh, maybe spend a little time with you if you if you wanted to spend some time with him. You know, absolutely, absolutely, I think so too. I mean. What's funny is, I mean, like I said, today I went to a place and dropped a lawnmower off, and the guy goes, you look just like that Sam Kinison dude, and then he looks at my truck, and I scream at Sam all over, and he goes, you do that? And I go, yeah, I'm actually sponsored by the family. He goes, man, you look just like that dude, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, well, that's cool, you know? And, like, it's, it's just great that, you know, Sam Kinison, let me tell you something. First of all, I want to tell your fans out there, there's nobody who will take the place of Sam Kennison ever, ever, ever. And I'm not trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm not trying to ever take the place of Sam Kennison because that will never happen, ever. But I can also, I, like we said before, all I want to do is keep that memory alive so the young generation can see what they missed out on when they were growing up. You know, before they grew up, I mean, before yeah. they were born or whatever. 
So, you know? so do you get a lot of young people that are actually that that actually do know a little bit about Sam Kinison? What's that? Do you actually like uh, when you see some young people? Do you actually have you ever met a young person uh, that actually knows who Sam Kinison is and actually oh, knows that he? Absolutely, I know. I know. I met young people who said that their parents listened to Sam Kinison and they knew. Uh, they know. I mean, yeah, I do have young people that know who Sam Kinison. You know who he was and everything. Okay. And I think I think that's great. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I tell you what, a lot of like I know I know for a lot of comedians and they they want me to do stuff with them and. I'll be honest with you, it's harder to do what I do than it is to be your own comedian because you got to deliver what somebody else does. Yeah. And you got to deliver it right because you got people out there, you know, fans of Sam. If you don't do it right, you're not doing your job. Oh, sure. You know? Yeah. And plus, I do, write t- I do write my own bits and I do it in the vein of Sam, which is easier for me because I wrote the bit myself. But if you screw up anything, I mean, these people let you know that. Oh, sure. Oh, you know? sure. Wow. No, no, I, I, I yeah, it's hard. Well, uh, I but hey, I mean, I, I think it's great though that you're still sticking with it. I mean, you know, it's better to stick with something than to quit. You know, and, and I don't think, you know, in, in the likes of Sam, I don't think he was much of a quitter. I mean, I think he was the type of he was a go getter. You know, and that just seems like you're ty- you you are kind of like that too, a go getter. You're not a quitter, right? Well, I told Bill Kennison, I promised the Kennison family, as long as I live, I will keep this memory going. Yeah. And that's where I am. Oh, uh, that's cool. That's 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 the very cool. The Sam will be going forever. Until <laughs> <I die. laughs> so, uh, uh, so be- before you uh, ever became a uh, screaming Sam, what what did you like? Did you actually have like a, a an actual nine to five job at one time in your life, or were you always a, a comedian, or or what what did you do no, before? I was, uh, actually, I owned a tow truck. I owned a bunch of businesses. I, I was. I was in the tow truck business and the complete car business before I did that, and um, I used to have a uh, job driving tow trucks, and, and, and be, I was in a betting business, too, with oh. another guy, and then I went in my own business. I owned, like, 10 businesses in Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. And then one day, I, I needed a break, and I, I went to, it's in my, my bio, but I, my family and I took a trip to Florida, and I had a beard and long hair, and I shaved the beard off, and went in, we were going into Disney. And I bought one of Mickey Mouse plays, and I put it on backwards, not knowing anything about Sam Kenton, like not doing anything about Sam Kenton, yeah. not even thinking about it. And people start screaming at me, and oh my God, Sam Kenton screaming! And I'm, my <laughs> my brother-in-law goes, "Dude, you do look like Sam Kenton." <laughs> and I went, "This is nuts!" I went into the bathroom and looked, and I'm going, "This is funny." <laughs> I said, "I've never been on stage before in my life. I never did comedy acts and stuff like that." So. I just grab a bunch of, I, I never had even had on a CD or any, or, or cassette or whatever back in the day. And I bought a bunch of his stuff and listened to it. And the first time I went on stage, I did pretty good. The second time, I, I filled. And never went back, I haven't went on stage for a long time. And then people start saying, you ought to do it again. Wow. And from there on, I just start doing it. Jeez. So that's how it all started. I mean, I never did call me stuff, but I still own a bunch of businesses now. I still have businesses, and I own a oh, bar sure. business, a vending business. You know, I own property. That oh, I have renters, oh. you know what I mean? Sure. But I, I, stay, I stay busy all the time. I'm a busy man. Okay, well, well, that's cool. I mean, it's, it's nice to know that you actually have other things uh, going on for you, too. I mean, to keep you, just keep you busy and stuff. I mean, because uh, um, doing the Sam Kinison uh, tribute, you know, is great, but, uh, you know... I'm, I'm sure it, does it bring a lot of like does it bring you a lot of revenue at all when you do your shows at all or how much do you normally charge for like a, a comedy show well you, I'll be honest with you you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna think I'm weird but it's not that I really need the money yeah I do everything we, believe it or not I do a lot I did a, like last week I did a couple benefits for my sister-in-law I um I think I only charged a couple times for shows we do we do everything completely free on my internet Oh. We do a lot of stuff for free. We do, we give away a lot of CDs, a lot of DVDs. I really don't. That's, a, that's the thing people get wrong about me. I have people actually email me, tell me I should be ashamed of myself making money on a kid and family, but they don't know me. Yeah. I mean, I, I, people ask me to do stuff. I actually go to places and do things in Florida and don't even charge people. I mean, I just do it from, from the heart and I do it for them and I have fun with people and I mean, if they want to give me money, I mean, I don't turn it down. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've really, I mean, I've done some 
gigs. I turned down three thousand dollar an hour gigs. You know what I mean? Oh wow! Because they were in Arizona and Ohio, and I, I don't fly, so yeah. I didn't want to drive. You know what I mean? But I mean, they're there if I want them. The money gigs. You know what I mean? Okay. But I do this. I do this just to keep his memory alive, and I'm not out to make money on Sam Kennison and oh, his sure. family. Oh sure. Oh sure. I just, I just, you know I, I guess I just wasn't sure because you know how most comedians are. You know, they they're doing it because they, you know, they they set off in comedy clubs and all that stuff because they're they're poor and they and they figure that's kind of a way to to get noticed more or less. And then, you know, but but you're you're more of a tribute to you know more or less. Uh, I'm a artist, yes, and I probably piss off a lot of comedians. They <laughs> heard that because they're out there, like you said, they're out there struggling. I got a, a cut in the comedian struggles his ass off for money. Yeah, he makes a bucks or fifty dollars. And I turned down three thousand dollars to do a trip <laughs> show for an hour. You know what I mean? Wow. And um, yeah, I turned down stuff all the time because I just I I I, I don't have the time to go to Arizona to do an hour show and drive all the time. You know, all that yeah. time out there for an hour show, I don't have that time. So that's why I do my that's why I do my internet shows. That's why I do my radio shows because what I'm really hoping for is somebody hear me and see what we do. And offer me the big time thing. I'm waiting for the big time deal. You know what I mean? Like the, the internet or maybe um, um, serious radio show. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh sure, oh sure. You 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 sound like you could be perfect for that. You know, I I, I agree with you 100 percent because that's kind of why. I mean, I do what I do because it, it's you know I do it as a hobby as well. You know, I don't get paid. I have never gotten a dime from any of these interviews that I've done. I don't know how familiar you are with my work at all, but I've done damn near over 80 or 90 interviews with different, you know, entertainers and all that. And I'm hoping one day that somebody uh, sees me too, but I just like, I mean, I was honored in, the, in my local paper, you know, not too long ago for, for some of these interviews, and that's the first time I've ever gotten honored for, from anything. <laughs> so, I, I, it was kind of neat. I'm a small town and everything. I, I live in a town that's uh, right now about 700 people, so, you know, a few people saw the article, but... I'm hoping too that one day somebody comes and sees all these things that I've done on the internet and, say, and offer me a big gig. But but it's but number one though it's just for the love of the work and and uh, that's kind of cool how you how you do it for the love of the work too because it's like you I know love it. I yeah love it. oh yeah and, and uh, I made I made the, I made the local newspaper I made Fox News I did all that stuff yeah Jam. I think I've seen the uh, uh, on YouTube uh, because that's kind of how I found you anyway. You know, besides knowing the fact that you knew Bill and you knew Cra uh, Craig, uh, I, there's a lot of stuff on you on YouTube that I found. <laughs> right, right. And I get slammed on YouTube a lot, but there's a lot of people that don't like what I do because of Sam. They don't understand. You know what I'm saying? If they knew what I did and why I do it, I mean, they'd probably have a different outlook on it. You know what I mean? Oh sure. Everybody thinks that we're out here for the money. You know. But like I said, I'm waiting for the big hit. It, it might hit. And yeah, I might, you know, I might make a pick someday with doing it, but I'm not, you know, someday it might hit. But uh, right now, I just, I do it for the love, man. So I do it for the kids and family. So what are some of, some of the more notable guests that you've had on your internet show that people Richard would know? Richard Pryor Jr., um, it's, hard to, it's hard to think of them all right now. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Richard Pryor Jr., we had so many guests on our show, um... We have a lot. We had a lot of impersonators, uh, porn stars, uh -huh. strippers. Um, Craig Gas was on our show. Oh wow! Uh, I can't think off the top of my head. I have to look on the computer. <laughs> I'm not there. But, uh, yeah, Richard Pryor Jr. stands out because we had a lot of fun with him on our show. Yeah, because yeah. wasn't Richard Pryor and Sam Kinison? They they grew up together, or they were like in the same uh, same. Uh, uh, ho not homeless shelter, but same place. They they grew up somewhere anyway in Illinois. Yeah, they grew up. They grew up together, and they uh, did comedy together. Sam and Richard Pryor. Yeah, yeah. Richard that's... Pryor Jr. After Richard Pryor died, Sam and Bill actually helped out Richard Pryor Jr. You oh, know what wow. I mean? He, they hung out with him. Okay. So, yeah, so it, it was pretty cool. I mean, you know, you have to listen to that show. That's a pretty funny show. <laughs> so you got every, uh, you got everything archived, pretty much, huh? Yeah, we got a lot of archives on us. Yeah. Okay. Um, like I said, I can't even think of half the guests we have. I mean, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of cool people on there. I mean, not a whole lot of celebrities, but, you know what yeah. I mean? But I try to give everybody, a, you know, we get a lot of listeners on our show, a lot of a lot of fans. Yeah. So I try to give the small guy the chance, too, to, to be impersonator to what I do. Sure. I try to give them a chance, you know what I'm saying? And and that helps them, you know what I mean? It helps every bit they can. I've been through what they go through, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
So, and I, I actually got married in the same chapel as Sam Kennedy got married in before he died. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got married there, and they, they were impressed. When I walked in there, they are like, we take extra pictures of you. I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, so... Uh, that well, was pretty. That was cool. Oh, that that, is, that does sound cool. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, you gotta be honored you know, by the fact that you can even get a guest. I mean, hell, hell with me. I'm such a little guy, you know, here up in northern Minnesota, where no, or no one's really ever even heard of me. And yet, I'm so lucky that I was able to get like Lou Ferrigno for Christ's sake, and, and uh, what else? Uh, the guy who played uh, Elliot in E.T. Uh, Henry Thomas. I mean, some big notable wow. names like that, and Butch Patrick and. I mean, it, 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 you know, and I'm just a little guy. I'm, I'm nobody, you know. <laughs> That's great, man. That's great. That means you're doing your job. <laughs> I don't have to great people doing my jobs. <laughs> <laughs> How many people do you have on your staff that do your show well, for you? We have um, the producer, then we got Walman Vince, and um, me, and um, Waterboy. Okay. So we used to have some interns working for us, but they, uh, you know, they only last a little bit, and they're gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh... Our producer, he gets so backed up at work that you know we're going to be hiring people pretty soon to help us do some editing and stuff. Sure. Because we can do we do video a lot of video stuff too. Okay, yeah, I was going to ask you if you did like a video show because uh, I don't I, I mostly just saw just the radio like the audio stuff. No, we should do internet TV. We had an internet TV show with a bunch of um, we would have like bands come on and strippers and porn stars and. Bill Kinnison used to be a part of that too. He loved that because we used to have the chat rooms and <laughs> we actually, yeah, we actually quit doing that because we lost the studio we were in. Yeah. But um, now we got 3D cameras, okay? And then we start getting into um, doing like the porn conventions and stuff like that. Jeez. But I'm slowly getting away from that and getting back into the comedy and the oh, sure. screaming Sam because it's not the Sam Kinnison style of me, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, he, he so, kind of liked, he kind of liked the porn stuff too, but I mean, to me, I always, I, I, I didn't mind his porn, you know, comedy acts and all that stuff, or his, uh, you know, his jokes on porn. But I just, uh, I liked his, I liked more his storytelling because Sam was more or less a storyteller, you know, in everything yeah. that he ever did. So, I don't know. I, right. I, I mean, not not that I'm against anything porn related. It's just that you know, sometimes enough is enough, you know. <laughs> yeah, we were, you know, we got, we were getting too heavy into it. Yeah. And uh, I told my producer, I said, you know what, I gotta separate the porn from the comedy. Yeah. So, you know, we have the XXX Screaming Sam dot com and we actually I gave them my end of that and they turned it into TNA films and uh they they run that part now and I'm out of it completely. So I'm just running Screaming Sam dot com and okay. trying to do the comedy part of it and you know, the radio shows and stuff sure. like that. So Do you have anybody do you have like anybody else that sponsors you besides uh, Bill and his family? That yeah, there's yourself? a people got website. There's people sponsors on there from uh, some magazine. There's a magazine company and Kinnison dot com, and there's a couple sponsors on there. But that, that's the thing: we don't have people to actually get on the phone and actually do that for us. You know? What I'm okay, sure. You gotta do it all yourself. Everything, we everything we did, we do ourselves. So, and we all got jobs. You know? Yeah. We all we all work, and you know what I'm saying. Plus, I run so many businesses during the day that I'm like, I go crazy, so. <laughs> so, uh, uh, well, I want to ask you one last question before I let you go, and uh, once again, <laughs> once again, I, I appreciate just having you on. I mean, this has been a big honor just because, uh, you know, to me, I think you're, you're, you're very iconic just because you, you're keeping Sam's memory alive and you're, and you're, and you're doing other you. things too. Yeah, no, it's no, it's no problem. Uh, so, I don't know everything that you've uh, done with the Sam Kinison tribute. What what is like? I, I'm sure you've explained this before to me, but like, what is your goal? In, you know, t with the Sam Kinison tribute. Like, what is it other than just trying to get, let the young people know about it? What is the goal? What made you decide to want to do this? Um, man, it's like Sam died too early. Yeah. And I, I think he got cheated, and I just want to live on what he could have done. I guess I want to say, you sure. know what I'm saying? Like, there's mood. I want to be on TV more and radio, and I just want to put out what people missed out on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But with Sam, I guess I, I, that's what I want to say. Okay. You know, it's like I just feel like Sam got ripped off. I mean, just imagine if he was here today with all the stuff going on in this world. Oh, jeez. 
it would be amazing to hear what he has to say about what's going on in this world today. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I'll never be the man he is, but, man, there's so much I'm trying to do that that I would think, you know, and that's what I talk to. We, we, me, Bill and I talk a lot, and, you know, and I just try to think of what would Sam do right now, you know what I'm saying? What would he be thinking or doing or... And um, Bill says a lot of times, you know, that, you know, Sam would love to... <laughs> Sam would love what you're doing right now for him. Oh, sure. He would love that. And that's that's more like, you know, that's more or less what I, my, than my thoughts where I would, why I want to keep the trivia going. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's just because he can't do what he's, you know, nothing right now. He's done. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I could do it for him. Sure. You know? Well, that's... I guess, I mean, that's, that's all that comes to mind for me right now, but, uh, you know... Yeah. Frank Cass, he's the best at what he does with Sam. I mean, he got the best voice ever. Oh, yeah. Ever. Oh, yeah. I, I was very yeah. impressed. <laughs> he blows me away, that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love Gene Simmons, too, and he does his voice, and I made him do that on my show, you know what I mean? Gene Simmons. But, oh, sure. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I was very impressed, uh, just the fact that I was able to get both Bill and Craig on my show, too, because I think that's... Uh, that's that's definitely uh, no, uh, a big notoriety, more or less, because uh, you know Bill Kilson, you know, is busy too with uh, doing, you know, like he was a former pre. I don't know if he still preaches or not. I don't, I don't know, but I know he does like the uh, uh, he does like stage acting, like theater, a lot of a lot of different theater right, and stuff. Right. And, and Craig too. Yeah, I mean, he does a little bit of preaching on a private, uh, yeah, like, you know, privately. Have you ever heard him preach before? No, I like to. Though. I heard, <laughs> I listen to Sam's preaching all the time. Yeah. And it's fantastic, man. It's like he, he gives me a message every day when I listen to his preaching. Wow. It's almost like he gives me some kind of message, you know? Sure. He was great. Oh, yeah. Very, very iconic. Well, I tell you what, they're, or they're screaming, Sam, I appreciate uh, having you on. This was uh, a lot of fun. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, and maybe uh, when, I, when I, I uh, upload this interview, maybe you can put it on your show or something like that or put it on you know on your website or something to get the word out. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Uh, just, you can email it to me at screamingsam at screamingsam.com. Okay. I'll and, do um, it. and if you want someday, um, you could do like later on down the road, you could do an interview with Bill and I. Sure. I mean, he has no objections to that ever. He told me that. Oh, wow. You know, that'd, that'd be a fun interview, because uh, him and I together, we just take over the <laughs> show, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, I'm all, I'm, I'm, I'm all up for that. I'm going to be moving to South Dakota here pretty soon, but I'm, I'm sure I'll have internet somewhere. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, well, hey, I appreciate I it. I enjoyed your show, man. Thank you, and thanks for being on. Have a good day. Remember, ScreamingSam.com. Yes, yes, ScreamingSam.com. Go to it. Click on the link. <laughs> all right, thanks, Thank guys. You, sir. Bye. And that was Screamin' Sam, uh, as you heard, uh, doing his uh, Sam Kinison tribute, and I think that's pretty uh, pretty neat that uh, the stories that he told, uh, just because of the fact that he does, you know, he doesn't really do it for the money, he does it because he wants to keep the memory of Sam Kinison alive. And how great is that, you know, uh, because of the fact that uh, he's able to do this, and uh, just because he he was able to to say that I look like Sam Kinison, you know. And if you go on his pictures, or you see the pictures that I, I posted on during this interview, uh, you can definitely tell that, yes, he does look like Sam Kinison, but I assure you, he is not Sam Kinison, but he definitely looks like him, and he, uh, he uh, maybe it was just a blessing from Sam. Who knows? <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I'm Frank Slauson, and uh, please go check out his website, ScreamingSam.com. I'll put the link down below, and uh, we'll see you guys again for another great Frankie's Icons of Pop Culture uh, summer interview series as it continues. And uh, yes, I will be moving to South Dakota here pretty soon. That's why I'm doing this little uh, marathon of interviews, uh, the second marathon of inter interviews, because I uh, might not have internet right away where, where I'm moving to, but uh, I guess we'll find out when I get there. So, <laughs> other than that, uh, we'll see you guys later and, uh, uh, and go check out some of the other interviews that I've done this summer as well as uh, uh, what I did the last season. I, I got lots of uh, great iconic interviews, like with uh, the Ultimate Thriller tribute, uh, that was to Michael Jackson, uh, Lou Ferrigno I've interviewed this summer, who else did I interview? Parrish Randall, who's a BA horror actor. Uh, go check out the interview I did with, the Hart, with Smith Hart of the Hart family, and all the interviews that I've done, even with uh, Larry Holly, who was who, who's the older brother of the late great Buddy Holly. Uh, check all those interviews out, and uh, uh, please uh, subscribe if you haven't, and 
and uh, let me know what you think. Comment if you can. All right. Bye-bye.